Now, in other news, Scotland's Loch Ness, famous for hosting an alleged mythical monster, is facing a climate challenge. Another prolonged dry spell is now having implications on everything from native wildlife to species. Now, according to figures released by the Scottish Environment Protection Agency, Loch Ness's fresh waters have dropped to their lowest level in decades. Situation is also happening in other highland areas, including Loch Marie to the northeast and Black Isle to the west. Now, the warmer, drier weather has impacted Scotland's famous salmon population. According to officials, one of the small streams that feeds the river has already dried up. I was talking to one of the fishermen today and he reckons the surface temperature at the moment is about 15 Celsius. Now that's unheard of in July for Loch Ness. I mean, they, that, that's almost Mediterranean for here. I mean, it won't be very deep, but the fact that the surface temperature is that high, that's because there's very little water coming in. These sort of summers only happen once every 10 years. Now they're starting to happen every second or third year, you know, so yeah. I think it's changing quite quickly. According to the advisory body appointed by the UK government, Scotland's 10 warmest years on record have all occurred since 1997. And now Britain's meteorological office is forecasting another dry period later in the summer.